Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to make the flammy lasso ability used by Bad Rider in the game Dota 2. The spell basically lassos a target and drags them relative to the player. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Here we are in a demo scene I have set up with a directional light, ground plane, an enemy that has an enemy script which moves him to a random position every couple of seconds, and a first person player controller. Let's hit play so you can see this is a very basic setup for a first person game. You can move around and jump. Pretty basic. Alright, so begin by creating a line and call it lasso. Then make it a child of your player controller and reset its transform. I don't want to use this material so I will change it to be the default line material which is a solid white. This allows me to change the color of it up here. Ok, that is good enough. Check use world space right here. Make sure it has two positions and disable the line render component. Add a new C -sharp script called Flaming Lasso, then open it. We will begin with a bunch of floats. Speed, duration, stop distance and cast range. A boolean to control the wide movement of our lasso target. A layer mask and a string array to mask out unwanted targets and then two transforms. One for the lasso target and one for the camera. The line render we just created a vector 3 to store the destination related to the player and a float timer for the duration. Inside start we assign both, the camera transform as well as the line renderer. In update we check if we have pressed the mouse 0 which is the left click. We create a new function called assign lasso and add it here. You can of course change this to whatever key you want, for this example we will use the left mouse click. Now, if we do have a target, we need to check if the timer is bigger than 0 to lower it and if it isn't, then we create a new function called finish lasso and add it here then return. We do the movement now. First we check the distance between the target and the player controller. If this distance is bigger than the stop distance, we will set the destination to be relative to the player controller. Check if we have enabled keep Y position, in which case we assign the destination.y to be the target's Y position. If the distance is not bigger than stop distance, then we set the destination to be the target's position so that it does not move. Now that we have the destination set, we use it to move the target smoothly to it. Lastly, for update, we assign the first line position to be this transform and the second position to be the target's position. That way we create the lasso visual between both units. Inside the assigned lasso we check if we already have a target, in which case we return to avoid running the rest of the code because we already have a target. So to assign the target we will do a ray cast at the camera's position forward and we will use cast range for its distance and the layer mask to mask out things we don't want to hit. In here we check if the enemy tag to check contains the tag of whatever we hit. This will give you an error because we need to go up here and add using system.link. The error should be gone now. So inside here we set the timer to be the duration, assign the target to be the hit that transform and enable the line renderer. Now you will disable the movement on your enemy. I do not know how you will do this in your game because every game is different, but in my case, I will simply disable the enemy script from the hit unit transform. To finish the lasso, we enable the enemy script again, as well as disable the line renderer and set the target to nothing. Alright, cool. All done coding. Let's head back into Unity. We have to set some of these values. For speed, I will do 5, duration 3. Stop distance to 2 units, cast range to 5 units, and I will keep the Y position of the lasso target. Layer mask to default, enemy tag to enemy because if I select my enemy, you can see up here I have the tag of enemy and it's on the default layer mask. Ok, let's hit play and test things out. It's all working as intended. 
I will set its speed to 1 so it is much slower. If I set it very high, it will be instant. Yep. Okay, now go play around with some of its values, use a different line render material, I don't, I don't know, go crazy with it. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. Please do like and subscribe if this type of content interests you. Thanks to my Patreons for their support. Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you guys again on the next video.